And now to the Trump presidency and the potential bombshell tonight. The president's former lawyer and self-described fixer allegedly taped a conversation before the presidential election discussing paying off a former Playboy model with Mr. Trump. The question now, were any federal laws broken? The New York Times reports Michael Cohen, President Trump's longtime personal lawyer, secretly recorded a conversation with Mr. Trump about paying off a former Playboy model just two months before the election. According to the Times story, the two men talked about paying Karen McDougal in order to keep her from telling her story. She alleges she had a year-long affair with Mr. Trump in 2006. So far, no evidence exists to show Cohen or Mr. Trump paid McDougal, but the National Enquirer paid her $150,000 for the exclusive rights to the story and then never published it, a practice that's called catch and kill. Mr. Trump is longtime friends with David Pecker, CEO of American Media, the National Enquirer's parent company. The timing of any payments Mr. Trump's former lawyer may have been involved in are being examined to see if they violated federal campaign financing laws. Rudy Giuliani, the president's current lawyer, told The Times the recordings are actually proof the president did nothing wrong. He says the president himself never paid McDougal, and the recordings show he had no knowledge that the National Enquirer was going to pay her either. The Times reported the recordings were seized during an FBI raid of Cohen's home, office, and hotel room earlier this year. Investigators seized more than three million items in the raid, and sources tell CBS News Cohen frequently recorded phone conversations, meaning more tapes with the president could exist. Now, Cohen has indicated he might be willing to cooperate with federal prosecutors should he be facing any charges, telling ABC News earlier this month that his family and country come first.